Alright, quick fucked up theory. Ready? Steady. Go. Alright, so what if we live on a planet that is literally we're just a prison? I don't mean a planet, I'm plane. So this plane of existence is, has a dome over us. And we are stuck here in this prison. Let's see, there's many theories. Let's just go with like one or two. Okay, theory is that uh, we are the fallen angels. We're idiots. We went against God, and this is what we got for going against God. So God put us in his prison. And if you can't come to realize that you're still a very lucky person and you enjoy this place and you're not in loving and understanding and finding God, you're not going to get out of this prison. Okay, why would they chemtrail us? Why would they do all that? Are they poisoning us or are they trying to hide something? Okay, well, what if the point is they're trying to hide something? And that something is like they say in the Bible. That you will know when the time is near, and you will know, and you will get down and repent, and you will find Jesus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't mean to murder it, Lord. Um, but how are you going to do that when you don't see the sun is acting crazy? You don't see that there's stuff going on. And I made a video of the sun doing some weird stuff. Only about 50-something second video. should definitely watch it. Um, but if they're chemtrailing the moon and the sun to where you can't see them, how are you supposed to notice or see that? I mean, why in the heck did NASA make a damn patent for artificial sun in the 60s? Weird. Is our sun dying and a new one is coming in? What's going on? But what, uh, more than anything, but what if we are sitting here on this freaking in a prison and all this and we have to repent and we have to find God and we have to do this? And then maybe there's only, I know there are some weird scriptures that say there's only 140, uh, 140,000, 144,000, whatever the heck spots or people that get to be saved what if that's really the case and what if that is what all of this is behind to literally make people be fake against god i mean look you know one of the most godly women you know that i know is you know a woman that goes to church on sunday and is just the most sweetest greatest person in the freaking world but she's 76 years old and how the hell do i tell her that Sunday is Satan's day. Saturday is God's day. How do I tell her that without her thinking I'm completely crazy and destroying everything that she's ever believed? Which I won't. I mean, she believes it perfectly. But as they say, Satan wants to do make everything backwards. Everything. So what if this is all some crazy thing? And I'm not, who knows, maybe if you do right, you get to go no matter what. But what if it, this was crazy that there was only a certain amount of spots? Well, if that was true, wouldn't you want to make everybody else way worse than you are to make sure that you got a spot? Wouldn't you want to do that? And then on top of that, if you knew this to be true, and that we we're in a prison, da 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 and you wanted to control it, and you wanted it to keep going on, you would make sure nobody ever got freaking their heads right and got the heck out of here. You know, I'm not really sure. I can't tell. I can't. I don't know. And who knows? Maybe Mother Earth. I've seen this vortex thing where they showed this supposed NASA stuff. Whatever. <laughs> supposedly NASA. It was whatever. Supposedly it was leaked, stolen. Um, of literally where it looks like the navel of the Earth. Of where it's literally a vortex that looks like it's sucking in and taking in. Like the Earth is like just eating and consuming everything. What, what if, I mean, we're just here for its consumption? What if we're just waiting? That's all we are. We're just waiting for our turn to be consumed. That's kind of fucking crazy. I mean, not to say that I think that's true or I know that's true or anything like that. But if people are not looking into every aspect of everything that they can, they're not truly looking. And I know there's God because I know that I can sit here and I can... You can call it meditate, you can call it thinking about something good, but I can feel God. I can feel a tingly high that comes over my whole body that is better than any drug I've ever done. And I haven't done every drug, but I did quite a few in my younger years, whatever. Um, and I still just don't... I don't really know what's going on, but I do know out of all of this crap that is being freaking piled around in this fucking vortex of shit, no good lie and no good freaking story does not have a grain of truth. 
and that is up to us, which is really crappy, but that's, that's kind of our, that's our deal to deal with, is it's your ability to find that grain of truth in each one of these lies or each one of these stories. And no matter what, there's always a grain of truth. Whether the person writing the story, telling the story, or freaking lying to you even knows. Trust me, 90% of the time they know. Um, but you need to start just seeing things for what they are. You need to start asking questions about everything. I mean, are they chemtrailing us to hide the you know, God is coming and we need to repent? Are they chemtrailing us to kill us all? Are they chemtrailing us to hide aliens? That's in no way do I believe in. I've been watching ancient aliens. I've been looking at everything for history my whole freaking life. And there isn't aliens from the stars. If there's other different types of things or whatever, it's just from a different place. It's not, it's, uh, it's probably from here. It's not from outer space. I mean, NASA sent a tin can to the moon over 50 years ago, and now we can't get past the Van Allen belt. Well, the moon is supposed to be past the Van Allen belt, so what the hell. Okay, well, just look up. Here's the thing. The greatest math mathematicians in the world... Almost every single one of them, by the time they really got to the peak of understanding mathematics and they went through the theory of the mathematical equation for the possibility of us being here, it was so slim and nil to zilch to nothing to impossible that they came to find God. First, they f denied God because of mathematics. And then when they put that mathematical equation down, of what it would be, the mathematical equation for us to actually be here and the possibility of us being here and everything that's come. It is mathematically impossible. So guess what? Then they came to actually start 